Good morning, friends. Hope everyone's doing well. This morning, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the word protects. So I wanted you to take a minute and think about the things or the people that protect you. Um, <clears throat> so I was thinking to myself about things that protect me. So my home, a roof over my head from, from, keep, from getting wet and to keep me warm. Um, things in my car, my seat belt, a car seat for Evie, maybe airbags, um, brakes. How about um, things that protect your body like, you know, shoes for when you go for a walk so you don't cut your feet on something. Um, how about clothes to keep you warm? Um, how about masks to keep you healthy, keep your body healthy? Um, how about vitamins? Um, eating really good food keeps you healthy, protects you from getting sick. So I wanted to also think about people in your life that protect you. Maybe your parents, of course, teachers, pastors, police officers. How about your animals? So I started thinking a little bit about our two dogs. Um, so we have Jules and we have Moki. And this morning I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about Jules. She's also known as Juju. Um, and she is our fierce protector. She is a shepherd mix. And we'll talk a little bit more about what you know about shepherds in the Bible. But she, from the day we got her, when she was just eight weeks old, she was our protector, if you can believe it, a little furball. Um, and she has um, kind of been there for our family when Evie came home and she was, you know, sleeping right outside of her room and she still does to her to this day. Um, she's got a million different types of barks. So she um, has a bark for friendliness when, she, when Stephen comes home. You know that bark because it's, it's a different kind of bark, but you know that she's aware of what's going on. Um, and then she has a bark for those that she doesn't know. Um, our poor postal carrier, Barbara, she gets extra tips at Christmas because of Jules barks at her. Um, but that's her way of protecting us and letting us know um, someone's new or, um, you know, to be aware. So Jules has this really fierce sense of protection, and I think it comes from her breed. Um, like I said, she's a shepherd, um, and so her breed, in a lot of cases, would um, help steer uh, ca um, cattle or they could steer sheep, um, and so she is a working dog. Um, and I think it comes also from a place of love for those that she loves in our family and friends and relatives that she wants to protect them. Um, so what do we know about shepherds from what we remember in the Bible? A shepherd is someone who watches over us, looks after or guides somebody. And we also know that God is a shepherd and he has protected his people from lots of things. Can you think of some things in the Bible that God has been a shepherd, where he's been a shepherd? How about Noah? and the ark and how he helped protect him and his family from the flood. And what about baby Moses and the way that God protected him? And you can also think about ways throughout the Bible where he's protected Jesus and his disciples and he's protected those that have followed him. There are many, show, there are many stories in the Bible actually that show us that he has rescued and he has guarded his people. He has been a shepherd for all of us when we follow him. And there's times in our lives where we call out for God, whether it's when we're in pain or maybe we're fearful. And sometimes there's times in our lives where like we're in church and we all pray together to him. And I was thinking too, there's times when we don't even know that we need him and he's there whether it's something that we feel in our heart or a facial expression that we make or some tense moment that we're at. And I was thinking about how, um, in some cases, Jules will pick up on that too when, you know, just the stress or you're just feeling a little bit anxious and she comes by your side. Um, so I started thinking about ways that we could express the way that God protects us 
even when we don't use words. And so I looked at the sign language, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so if you'll make the um, sign language for B, and you hold that up over your head and bring it down, and that's God. Um, protects is this and me. So God protects me. Could you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for listening to us, watching us, and protecting us, even when we may not even know it. We will come to you when we need you and trust that you will be there for us like you always have and you always will. We are grateful for all of the protection you give us here on earth and we find in our friends, family, animals, and we know that you are the most magnificent bodyguard for all of us. You are our security blanket and we ask that you keep covering us in your love and shielding us when we need it most. In Jesus' name, amen.